Okay, we'll do a um, few more examples using trig identities, but this time we're trying to. So we're only using the three trig identities: cosine square plus sine square equal one. The other identity that we're going to use is one plus cot um, square equal cosec square. And the third one that we're going to use is tan square plus one equals six square. So only those three trig identities we're going to use. But we're going to try to cover some examples that has some um, other approaches, like for example, factorization. How do you use factorization? Although we did one in the previous um, task. So the next, uh, so the example that we're going to do. So here you're gonna you you can use any of the um, three trig identities. So any trig identities to prove these two sides are the same. Um, using the trig identity, so you can tell in here that that you can use one of the sides that you start. You can you start the left hand side or the right hand side. Now if I you, you, the left hand side has sine and cosine, the right hand side only has sine. So by using the identity cosine square plus sine square uh, will allow me to um, open it, converting the cosine into um, sine. So and that's what I'm going to use in here. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. Because I only have sine, so I'm going to convert the cosine into sine. Now expand. Collect like terms. Now proven. So it's all with the time that approving the identity is your first step is quite important. And how do I come up with the first step? It's by looking at what is the other side has. This has only cosine, this has sine and cosine. That's why I'm trying to convert. Try to look for the identities that helps me or supports me to convert the cosine into sine. Okay, we'll have a bit longer one. So cosine theta over sec theta minus tan theta sine theta equal one okay so um what can i use to obviously you have to choose a side obviously the left hand side is way more complicated than the right hand side so i'm trying to open up the left hand side and try to simplify so because i have cosine and sine I can't open up the sine and cosine to anything else, but I can convert the sec and the tan into sine and cosine because because of the right hand side is one. So that means you need to try to simplify things as much as possible to reduce everything and to get one. And that's why I'm going to open it up. All oh, the sec is one over cosine theta minus tan is sine theta over cosine theta times sine theta okay now um having the common denominator here is cosine for both so i'm gonna and multiplying obviously i'm gonna have that oh sorry i've got the denominator in there so cosine stay as it is Denominator 1 minus sine square theta over cosine theta. Now, um, using obviously our fractions skills. So I've got cosine theta, change into multiplication and flip over. Now, continuing here. That gives me cosine square theta over 1 minus sine that square sorry I've missed it now I have one so I can use the identity remember the cosine square theta plus sine square theta equal one so that means cosine square theta is the same as one minus sine square theta so I'm gonna leave the cosine as it is but I'm gonna replace one sine one minus sine square theta to 
cosine square theta. Now simplify both. You get one. Oops. Why did I write the one like that? Not sure. One and that's proven. Okay. Next example. Um, we can use instead of theta another thing. Maybe you can use a or b or whatever. So see this time we have two different angles. We want to prove that is equal to this. Okay. Now again, you can use any sign. For me to prove those two, I always um, because this one has cosines, cosines. And this one has tan and tan. So it's easier actually to work on both sides. It's easier to um, open up, split the fractions in here. Because I have two terms in here. This is one term. So probably splitting the fraction in here is better. And because that will help me simplify. And at the same time, I can work on this side and convert the tan into sine and cosine. Right, so, and that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to work on both sides simultaneously, basically. So this one, I'm going to split the fraction. The reason I've made the decision that I'm going to split the fractions because I've got two terms in here. This is one term, so I'm splitting the fraction that helped me simplifying. I can't simplify anything otherwise. And at the same time, I'm going to open this one up into sine and cosine. Oh oh, that's B over cosine square B minus sine square A over cosine square A. Now I'm going to try simplify. So you can see now I can simplify those two. So next step is 1 over cosine square B minus uh, 1 over cosine square a. Now in here, the next step in this one, I try to get that. So you can see I only have cosines in here. Here I have sine and cosines, but I know that I can change the sine into cosine by using the identity um, 1 minus cosine square. And why I've done that, because I can... you. By looking in here, you can tell that you got your right sides, but you've got signs in here and you don't have any signs in here. So you want to get rid of the signs in here. And that's why you're going to change it. So I can't do anything on the right hand side. So I'm just sorry on the left hand side I'm gonna work on the right hand side so by splitting the fraction that will allow me to simplify so I've got 1 over cosine square B minus cosine square B over cosine square B minus 1 over cosine square A plus um, cosine square A over cosine square A now Simplify. So that one, that's one that cancel out. Um, that's one value and that's one. So plus one minus one is zero. And that's why I end up with one over cosine square B minus one over cosine square A. And that's the same as this. So that's why it's proven. So the left hand side equal the right hand side. And so it's proven. Okay, we'll do the last question um, for this video. So you have, uh, can you use sum of 10? Okay, 
so now um again you choose the side that you want to work on i would work on the left hand side obviously it's way more complicated and i have sick in here i don't have any sick in here i have sign in here i don't have any sign in here i have tan so the best way is to open up sign cosine tan um just you know rearrange open up everything with sine and cosine i basically do sine and cosine so here uh, one tan square actually before i open up to sine and cosine i try i can simplify those two remember the identity that we've what you've used is um i think it's six square is equal to one plus tan square so that's why i'm going to change this into sec square x and one plus cot squared is the same as cosec square okay and that's why it's easier now to change it to sine and cosine because you can simplify it way easier so now the tan it's sine square x over cosine square x now the sec square is the sec square is 1 over cosine square but because you divide by 1 over cosine square so you will change the division to multiplication and you flip so hopefully you would know that by now because it just take an extra step i didn't want what is this oh sorry press the wrong one now i'll do the same in here the cosec is one over sine square the cot is cos sine cosine square over sine square but because it's in the denominator so i'm going to flip it so it becomes sine square over cosine square x now you can see i can simplify so left is sine square x over cos sine square x which is the same as tan square x now you either uh, try now to open up the tan into um you either try to work on you have two options you either work on the right hand side and try to get the tan from the right hand side or instead of writing into tan you're gonna split that fraction so it's either way so i'm gonna continue working on the left hand side um to um, actually i'm gonna work on the right hand side it's just because it's more obvious for the students to work on the right hand side to prove it so i'm gonna work on this side now this one here and I'm trying to get tan to that. So obviously by opening it up, sec is 1 over cosine square x. And now I have sine square x over cosine square x. And that's tan square x. And then where you is going to say proven. Because those two are the same. But I'm also going to show you if you want to do this side. You don't have to do both by the way. I'm just going to choose a different color. Now, let's say we didn't do the tan square. You're trying to open this one up to the end. Then you just split the fraction. And cosec, 1 over cosec is sec. And that's also proven. So you, either way you can think about it. This, the blue one, you can think about it... It could come to your mind because you want to get the sec and you know the sec is 1 over cosine square and that's where the splitting the fraction will come or splitting the term will come in your mind otherwise just work on both sides the same okay thank you